uh, I have some hats here. Um, you can find inexpensive felt hats. You don't even have to have a felt hat to do this, um, but I like them on the felt hats. I, li I like them on the straw hats too, but I'm gonna show you the elements that we're gonna be using. So you need a hat. You need a hat. You need different things like this. We may not use it all, and we may. I don't know yet. So like here's some ribbon with some pearls on it. Here is some stretchy lace. You buy this by the yard at a fabric store or Hobby Lobby. Um, here is some lace that is not stretchy. And then I have a bunch of different vintage laces, okay? So that is what you need for that. For the embellishing part, you're going to need some different appliques from Totally Dazzled, okay? And it's gonna be all up to what you want to put yours on. I've got some different fe feathers, and these are from Hobby Lobby, and we're just gonna see what looks good. Um, I also have just some silk flowers. I don't know if I'm gonna use silk flowers um, or not, because I do have these fabulous flowers that I made with the Totally Dazzled already in the middle of them. So we're gonna see what we like. I have some leather pieces. This is where the Western kind of comes in. I've got some leather pieces and some other feathers that I love, and we might end up just using those. But I also have these cool tassels. And I love the idea of a tassel hanging off the side of the hat or the back of the hat. So I've got some different colors of cool tassels. And I've got some leather feathers. Look at how cool these are. I also have these little things and they're, they're like belt buckles. If you guys find different belt buckles that you wanna use for this, it will be very cool. I have these distressed oxides and I went and bought these two colors because I didn't like the color that I have. I got the vintage photo, okay? And we, wanna, we want to um, kind of grunge up these hats a little. I also have some gold pigment, gold pigment from Posh Chalk um, Paint Company. And I've already got this mixed up, so I'm gonna use some of that. So let's get going on this. We're gonna take this hat and I'm gonna take this brush. It's kind of wonky, but I really don't care because I'm going to, I'm gonna make this, so I'm getting my stuff on it. I'm gonna make this grungy where I think someone would touch a hat. So always, when someone is taking their hat off, they're going like this, going like that. They're taking their hat off. And I want to pinch it and make it a little wrinkled and do things like that. So I'm just putting some color on this. Okay, so this is what we have so far, okay? This is what we have so far. Um, I really like, I really like this on there. I have something hanging off of it. So, I'm gonna just let this gather, all right? And, I'm going to tie this in a knot. So before I start to really 
add anything with hot glue or with a fabric glue or anything like that, I like to get it set and see what direction I wanna go with it. So I like that pink on there. I like that on there. And I'm just gonna gather it down around. Spread it out, gather it around. Keep it going. Okay. So I, I like that on there. I really like that on there. Um, I'm gonna leave these tails long until I decide what to do with them. So at this point, I am going to go ahead and I'm gonna just do a hot glue around the side in some small places. This is what you've got there. This is what I have so far. This is where the bling comes in, guys. Um, I really want this piece of bling on here. Look at this applique, you guys. Can you see the pearls? Oh, it's just stunning. So I'm gonna show you guys. I'm going right here. I'm gonna go inside the hat and push it. Okay, see that? How cool that looks. Doesn't that look cool? Okay, and that's the front. We'll put something up here at the front, but right now, here's where we're working. We're working right here. This is where my stuff is gonna be. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and use this piece that I cut. We're gonna put it, I'll show you how we're kind of continuing what we're doing back on the back side. Okay, so this is on a, um, what kind of clasp is that? Anyway, it's on a clasp. So that I can use this on other hats and stuff, and I will be able to take it off. I'm going to go where my knot is right here, and I'm going to stuff all that fabric into that clasp. Let's see, I've got to do a little bit at a time. I was trying to do too much, I believe. Okay. So, there is that. This, this may go away. Not quite sure yet. Not quite sure. So there's that. This is going to be covered up. This is going to be covered up because I want a big old flower on there. This is going away. I just decided. It doesn't look good with the flower there. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. Just, I am wadding it together and cutting it like that. Kind of janky, but that's okay because if I wanted to just leave it like that. Look at how cute that is. Look at how cute that is. And we, no, I, I want one of these flowers on there, guys. Okay, so I have all these different flowers. So I'm gonna put hot glue on the back of this. Where's the hot so far? Guys, I am taking the back side of this. I am tying a knot in it because I want to keep it on the back side. One of these days I'm going to get the leather and show you guys how to make these 
feathers. I love, love to make these, and I've just got to order the leather. So, see, now it's on this side, okay? I want my feather to go right here, and... Okay, I want y'all to look at the front of it now. Okay, so we're layering. We're layering. This, I probably will tuck under this because I don't think I want that hanging. Because I love these vintage looking feathers. And we can bring this same color. See, it's the same type of color. We can bring them in here. just start building them out. This just adds some extra texture. Let me see if I want one of these big. Okay, let's do these. Ooh. Look at it so far, guys. Some of these feathers that look kind of funky. I like those feathers. Stick those right in here. This more is more. More is better. This is not a less is better, less is more type of craft. We have this on the front. I, I don't want too much stuff on this, on the front area, because I want this side to really stand out. Hello, look at this. This is where I said you start working with it like it's a scrapbook journal. I'm also gonna take my vintage photo and I'm gonna just rub it around. You are enough. I'm gonna gift this to my daughter. She probably will not wear it, but she will display it in her apartment, I know, because this is her style. And so she's in college and I'm going to put this report card in there. This has to be cut. But in the meantime, let me see. I want it to go straight up and down. Okay, so I put that word on there, you are enough. And I want to take these stickles they're stickles and I'm gonna I want to add some bling to this guys so I'm gonna take my stickle and I'm going to go around that enough. so see it says you are enough see these pin it's, they're called, um, they're flare, citation flare. And then I want to put one of these on here. Okay, so I want some bling on this side. So I'm going to put that bling. Look! I have this pink. It's on silver, but guys, I mix metals all the time. And this is a grungy hat. This this person who put this hat together, they just used what they found. Okay, and then I'm gonna put this on there. And it says, dreams are for chasing. Guys, I think this hat's done, except I do have to wet these feathers and bend them around, and I'll clip them right here. And then when they dry, they'll stay. But look at this side, guys. 
So that is my boho shabby hat. Totally Dazzled sells sparkling rhinestone wedding supplies. Check us out at totallydazzled.com. But before you do, click up here and download our free printable sparkle quotes. Or click down here and watch one of our other awesome tutorials.